Yes, it's good to have you with us, Femi. Yeah, good to be here with you, Luca. I mean, we're all excited. Yes, football season is done, and uh, we've, we've gotten into the world of basketball. How does this make you feel as a basketball analyst? To be honest, I'm excited. Um, it's been long awaited, over almost close to 150 days without basketball. Um, the, the, thank God, I still, I still say thank God with the test policy when it did. Uh, perhaps the season would have been inconclusive if that didn't happen at the time it happened and the measures were not taken almost immediately. Uh, so now there are safety measures being put in place. The players are in what the NBA has called a bubble. Um, and I like the way the bubble sounds like, you know, when something in the bubble, so the guys are kept in there, they can't move out, they are restricted. In fact, they even have electronic bands um, that helps um, officials monitor their movements, whereabouts, and all of that. So um, for the first time, that was um, two days ago, um, nobody tested positive for the virus in the bubble. We've been having one or two players, one or two officials here and there. Uh, but as of yesterday, when the NBA officially um, tipped off, there was no player or NBA official within that bubble, you know, that tested positive. So that, that, that was good going there. At least it gives everybody that psychological and mental stability, knowing that you go into the game, you know, not, 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 no, no scares, no worries, and you can have fun. Now, what a way to start it. And you know, you know the interesting thing? Yeah. The man who stopped the NBA from... Um, going on was a man who scored the first point, and that's Rudy Gobert when when the season restarted um, in their win against um, the New Orleans Pelicans. So it was quite interesting to watch. Quite interesting. Now we saw two great games yesterday. We saw the Los Angeles Derby. There was also the game between Utah Jazz and the Pelicans. Which of these caught, caught your fancy? Because for me, I think the Los Angeles Derby was a great watch. Yeah, the, the, the Los Angeles game was, was, was good to see. But, but I must say that um, everybody was also looking forward to having uh, Zion Williamson come back. So um, it was, you know, a bit of something to watch. Um, seeing Zion, even though um, I think the star of that match on the New Orleans side was actually Brandon Ingram, who did so great. Uh, the, for the Lakers game, it was either here or there. I think... Um, the Lakers were not too impressive because the Clippers made tons and tons and tons of mistakes, many turnovers. I think they made close to about 28 turnovers in that game. And the Lakers couldn't even still punish them um, for all this work. And I'm wondering, um, if, if you can't win with more than two points, then it shows you know, everybody still not being in good shape. But hey, this is just the first game back after many months out. So you can also call these guys you know, a little bit of some slack. And LeBron James did his thing. Um, but I think Anthony Davis would be the man to watch for that team. He was totally unstoppable. He had a double-double. He ran the, the Clippers. They had no answer for him whatsoever. And Paul George had 30 points. Kawhi had 28. And, um, you know, we saw Kyle Kuzma also, you know, make a statement uh, that he is in this Laker team and is here to play. Uh, we, so we look forward to it, uh, how, how everything goes on. Um, in the bubble. Very true. Now, of course, we saw the whole support for the Black Lives Matter movement. The players took a knee uh, at the start of the games. But looking, um, for, because we saw the games, it felt like they were slow into it. And I, 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 we can blame this on the fact that they've not played for quite a long time. But what do we stand to expect in the games to come? Well, um, there's, there's a rush for the playoffs. I think they're about, um, there's, there's, there's going to be eight regular season games in court yeah. um, for the teams to battle um, on. Uh, so um, those teams who are in that scrap, Sacramento, Kings, Memphis, Grizzlies, New Orleans, Pelicans, um, they, they'll be looking at ways to get in there. For the teams who have qualified already, it's a good way to help your guys begin to, you know, be in the right state of mind, yeah. get into full fitness, and, you know, begin to get your groups in. So I'm not too worried particularly about the Clippers or the Lakers. I think they will be fine. They have the squad, they have the players, they have the mentality, most importantly. Um, you, you look at the way of the social justice um, um, call uh, by the players, I think it's a laudable one by the NBA. I mean, every national league is doing that these days. So it will be quite, um, what's the word, yeah, disappointing if the NBA doesn't join you know, in that. But, but I like how they did it. Uh, it's not just about wearing the Black, like, the Black Lives Matter shirts. 
um, players have been allowed to put um, different inscriptions at the back of their jerseys. Some say peace, some say equality, yeah. some say how many more, uh, some say Black Lives Matter. Just instead of having their names described in the back of their jerseys. So it's really cool to see that it's a total solidarity um, for the cause and it's just bringing um, awareness uh, to, to, to the whole uh, social justice thing going on. And I want to say shout out to LeBron James because, you know, taking that he, 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 he actually um, posted on his Instagram page and he said he hopes Colin Kaepernick is proud um, of this moment and what the NBA is doing right now, especially with players. All right. Thank you very much, Femi, for your great analysis on the NBA. Thank you for having me, Joker. All right. Looking forward to subsequent games. I'm sure you give us more analysis as, as these games come to our TV screens. And it's great that we can actually get to watch live basketball again. Absolutely. Um, it's come home. It's come closer. Um, before, we had to go online, stream, and it wasn't as accessible as it is. Now, it's, it's virtually on every cable platform mm -hmm. you can afford in Nigeria. Yeah. So, if you're a fan of the game, it's a good time to actually be a fan of basketball. So, it's here. Um, there's going to be a lot of games. Meanwhile, let's not forget, the WNBA started last week. Yeah. Uh, so, shout out to the women playing the game as well. They just started, I think, started on the 25th. And they too, it's, it's, they are also in a, they call it the wobble. Uh, I don't want to go into that analysis, but yeah. the bubble wobble, they are in, uh, they are, I think they are playing in the IMG arena, while um, the, the guys that are playing in Orlando, the Walt Disney um, land. Uh, so, so it, I mean, it's a variety of all the stuff you could think of, and it, there's no better time than now uh, for the season to start. Hopefully, uh, to stretch on and we'll see where it goes. I think they want to end the season very early. So they can start, you know, the new season on time. Uh, speculations are December, new season, some are saying late November. Uh, we'll wait to see how all of that works out. And hopefully our basketball Africa League too uh, will join the big boys starting. And so we can have a whole last quarter of the year basketball league. Exactly. Thank you again uh, for talking to us this morning on this important information. Thank you for having me, Joker. All right. Yes, uh, the great game of basketball is back. And, of course, I enjoyed every bit of it. Yes, I stayed up and I followed the game between Los Angeles Lakers and the Clippers. And it was quite fun. And I got to the office today and saw a bit of highlights of those games, uh, the other games that was actually played yesterday. So, interesting. And we saw LeBron James taking charge in that one. So, we see how these games go all the way. And talking about the women... Uh, basketball as well. Like he rightly said, he started last week and they play in the wobble. So we're all having a bubble wobble basketball <laughs> season. And just after basketball, we'll see the US Open. Yeah. The, though most of the tennis players are pulling out of the event, but of course we get to see the US Open. There's a the Champions League. Then after these um, competitions, the English Premier League returns. So we're going to enjoy sports from now till the end of the year. Definitely. And look, to be honest, I believe the country to be thanked for is Germany and the mm. German Bundesliga. They were the first of people to actually take the initiative and be bold enough to say that you know what we can have sports we can keep these athletes safe mm. we can keep management and staff safe as well we know what we need to do we will get it in check yeah. and thankfully they were backed up by the german government i believe if they didn't do that at that point in time i don't think we'll be having the success rate of the returns of different sporting activities so you know i have to say big thank you to them they were great leaders they have been great leaders this year so i mean kudos to them and then we've been seeing the way football has come back in a very smooth manner um the same way the nba started last night was mm -hmm. the same way the first set of german Bundesliga games did start Stop. there was a bit it was a bit slow players were a bit apprehensive but uh, you know with the scrimmages that it did have have before them some players felt more comfortable than the others mm -hmm. and look it was a great great games yesterday he was yeah. talking about Zan Williamson um, he had some criticisms before the pandemic hit yeah. um, some people felt like maybe he came in too early but and some felt like he was too big not fast enough but then look he's looking great great physical form um, Definitely lost a bit of weight, looking lighter on his feet. And I love the game that he did play yesterday. I'm um, talking about the Lakers and the Clippers. Um, look, Kawhi Leonard, I believe he didn't play much as a forward yesterday. I believe there was a different approach going into the game against the Lakers. He played more of the role of a center, was creating more opportunities. And yes, Femi did talk about um, the recoveries that they did have. They had about 20. But then again, um, the Lakers as well were not so convincing. They had a season have about 27 fouls, which was so unlike them. But then um, kudos to Anthony Davis as well. He was simply fantastic. I thought he wasn't going to play the game with the eye injury that he did get. But look, it was a great show from 
all the basketball players yesterday. They were raring to go and they gave us a great show. Great show. And I'm looking forward to the other games that we played uh, from today. And uh, yes, there's one man I'm looking out for. Two men. Uh, there is um, James Harding and Yanis Antetokounmpo, who has been touted as the most valued player this season, this NBA season. Let's see how that turns out for these two guys.